What is up guys, welcome back to yet another Forsaken Destiny 2 video and today we have ourselves a bit of a problem guys. So as you all know, I made a video a couple days ago on the Ace of Spades and I titled it the best weapon in Destiny 2. Now that was for the most part very true, the Ace of Spades is an absolutely fantastic weapon and it's definitely a killer in the Crucible. That was until I used the Luna's Howl. This thing is on possibly another level and after using both these weapons extensively, I have come to the conclusion that honestly, it's a toss up. Both of these weapons are absolutely fantastic and they're both amazing in their own weight classes. And what I mean by that, it's very similar to kind of like the last word, the Thorn and the Hawkmoon in Destiny 1. They were all absolutely top tier weapons. It didn't matter which one of the three you were going to use because you were going to be just as successful with each of them. Now, Destiny 2 has a very similar scenario right now. The Lunas Howl is a fantastic, fast firing, close range hand cannon and the Ace of Spades is just a slower rate of fire but also hard hitting with tons and tons of range. So before we go any further guys, let's just talk about the Lunas Howl's perks because this thing is on another level here. So we got Drop Mag, Zen Moment, you know some solid perks especially for a fast firing hand cannon like this. But then we go to the actual, you know, perk that makes this weapon special and it's Magnificent Howl. Rapidly landing two precision shots grants a short period of bonus damage until your next kill or miss. You know what I really think? I think the person at Bungie who wrote this should be fired. This isn't no bonus damage. When I think of the word bonus, I go back to the third grade when my teacher would give me those pop quizzes and they'd be like, oh, there's a bonus question on the board for 5%. Yet yeah, this is not 5%, okay guys? Let's cut to the chase. If this thing's the Lunas Howl, then these bullets should be called the X-Men bullets because they are absolutely ridiculous. They do 2.3 times the damage you would normally do with this weapon. So this archetype should, you know, kill people in four headshots, but when you do proc this perk, it kills them in just three. When you're in the optimum range, you're actually going to do 57 to the head, and if you land two of those back to back, the third bullet will be 131. It's ridiculous. And I just hit two back to back 131s on that guy. He didn't just die, he went to the grave, resurrected himself, and died again with those kind of damage numbers. Alright, let me calm my heart rate down and talk to you guys about where you can actually get this weapon from because I guarantee there's a lot of you guys clawing at me right now just begging me to tell you. And so, this thing is essentially the Redrix Claymore of Season 4. The Redrix Claymore was a competitive reward after reaching the Fabled rank in Season 3 and this is essentially the Season 4 version, but there's a catch. It's actually a little bit different to get and it comes from a quest called the Remembrance Quest. Now, it actually, believe it or not, seems a little bit more difficult to get this weapon than in Season 3 for the Redrix Claymore, and that might seem a little bit disappointing or heartbreaking to a lot of you that may not be, you know, sweaty gods in the Crucible, but bear with me for a second. So, the first step in the quest is complete 10 competitive matches, that's win or lose, doesn't matter. The next step is getting 150 hand cannon kills in the competitive playlist. The third step is 200 solar kills in competitive. Fourth step is complete three rumble matches, win or lose. The fifth step is 100 hand cannon precision kills in competitive. And then it's reach fabled in glory enabled playlists. And then you return to Shax and get the weapon itself. So this is um, particularly interesting for two reasons. Number one, they actually make you do a lot more stuff to get this weapon than the Redrix in Season 3. But at the same time, they made it a lot more easier to get the Fabled in Season 4 compared to Season 3. They lowered the amount of points and, you know, they didn't activate lost streaks and all that kind of stuff. And also, skill-based matchmaking is very, very strong in the actual competitive playlist, so you shouldn't be matching gods that are way above your skill level. 
If it wasn't obvious already, then yes, I will admit I am hyping this weapon up a lot, but for good reason. I also hyped up the Ace of Spades a few days ago when I was reviewing it. Now this is going to be a classic Destiny 1 situation here guys. You're going to get the question from people, are you a Luna's Howl user or are you an Ace of Spades user? And it all comes down to your specific playstyle. And what I meant by the Destiny 1 situation is that that kind of corresponds to are you a Last Word user or are you a Thorn slash Hawkmoon user? And it all comes comes down to whatever your heart desires. Both these weapons are absolutely fantastic. The Lunas Howl is an up close, fast firing, very laser like stability weapon, just like the last word was. And the Ace of Spades is just like the Hawk Moon. It's got those bonus rounds and it's just, you know, a long range, high damage beast. So whatever floats your boat is whatever you guys want to use. Both these weapons are absolutely fantastic. But what I will say is that you guys should start on this weapon as soon as possible. I'm not kidding. Once you're done with the story, once you're done with a few of the quests and you, you know, did a fair bit of, of, of stuff in PvE, you're going to want to start on this quest at the very least because once everybody gets in the competitive playlist, it's about to get messy guys. Before we wrap up the video, I do have to give a massive shout out to One Second Kill for letting me use his account. I actually hopped on his account back in Season 3 for the Redrick's Claymore a few days after the expansion launched and I'm doing the same thing with this weapon right here. He's already reached a legend rank in the competitive playlist which is absolutely nutty if you ask me and he streams on Twitch so definitely give him a follow. He's an absolutely fantastic Crucible player in a very good clan. So that is it for the video guys i am just gonna roll out the footage here you can watch all of it because i hit so many crispy three taps i'm personally gonna get out of here stop recording my voice because i want to go grind this thing and other exotic quests thank you all so much for watching the video if you enjoyed a like rating would be very much appreciated can we slap out 69 likes i'm feeling a little bit saucy tonight guys subscribe for more daily destiny 2 forsaken content have yourselves a great day and i'll see you all later peace Ow,